Alright, we have a Samsung Galaxy S7 here with the black screen problem, uh, vibrates and everything. Charge is fine, you can hear sounds, stuff like that, just dark screen. And it looks like the problem's the same uh, with this one and the S8 Pluses that we have fixed. Um, so, looking at the ZXW tools, um, on the S8 Plus, the pins were at the bottom right, right here, but on this, connector it's actually fourth fifth and sixth pins on the starting from the top left so these three pins lead to an inductor which lead to that corner pin I don't even know what it does but I'm assuming assuming it's probably a display line issue um, something some uh, well it says ELVDD 4P6 I don't know what the hell that means but I imagine that's some sort of power line for the display but uh, to confirm, what you can do is uh, what you can do is just go to the connector and red to ground in diode mode, black to the fifth pin, which is shorted, shorted, shorted. It should read around 0.5, I believe. Anyways, I'm gonna disassemble this thing, replace that chip, and that, when I say that chip, it's gonna be the Max 77838. I hope it's the same as I think it is. Yeah, I think I think that's the chip, but we're gonna disassemble it and take a look. All right, so we have it disassembled, and this one's actually easy. You don't even have to desolder the shield at all or anything. Uh, someone's calling. Hold on a sec. All right, as I was saying, you don't have to desolder any shields for this one, and as you can see, this is a Max seven seven eight three eight chip. So we're gonna replace this sucker, and hopefully everything is golden after that, and then we will call it a day. Um. I think yeah. So what we'll do is replace the chip, and then we'll we'll, we'll check the uh, we'll check the diode mode on that one that pin, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So all right. So I'm gonna go up to 200 and 416 degrees Celsius with the airflow of 17, and I think I'm gonna put a little flux on it just because it helped last time. So just note the orientation of the chip. Max, I think it's at the top here. That was actually a little bit easier than the other than the S8 Plus. So, um, so let's clean this up. Try not to make a mess out of things while it's still hot. Looks simple enough. Okay. So that's good. Uh, let's see. I think it's the top right. Yeah, yeah, it is that. Okay, so let's just measure diode mode on that top right pin real quick. Just make sure it's not shorted out. Yeah, we got OL on it. I can't even reach. There's a filter in here, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to reach that. Anyways, clean this pucker, sucker up. It's my PA. And let's get our chip out, and then we'll we'll replace this sucker, and hopefully everything gets to be golden. Um, where the hell is my chip at? Okay, it's over here. I think I have one chip left. Okay. Not, not a whole whole lot to this. So let's you know what? Let's just cover these suckers up just for the hell of it. Uh, be a little cautious, you know. Okay.
So I like to heat it just enough so that it, you know, a ball or two melts a little bit so that it holds it in place, and then, and then I'll just let the heat do do its work. Um, when the solder melts, it's just going to sit in place by itself, and I'll wiggle it with my tweezers, and then we're back in business. So just make sure you put enough flux on it. So that the balls on the logic board adhere to the balls on the chip. There it goes. You see it moving a little bit. There you go. It sits down, and I wiggle it a little bit, and then we are in business. I normally just hold it for a few extra seconds after it, uh, after you see the solder melt. And that's it, really. Um, so. So, okay, so that's done. So let's just clean up a little bit of the flux. And again, I'm using VS213, Amtec VS213 flux, and it, it cleans up so much nicer. I'd recommend using that instead. That's that's my go-to now. I don't use the NC559 anymore because the NCC, NC559 was actually had I don't know it, it was like coagulating or. All right, so we're gonna check the fifth pin here, and now I'm getting 0.536. So I know that's good now. Um, it was shorted before. Um, now I'm getting 0.536, so I'm back in business and let's reassemble this thing and hopefully everything's gonna work again. All right, so as you can see, it is charging now. You can see the percentage. Can I turn it on? I don't know a damn thing about these damn Samsungs, man. There he goes. All right. Oh. So the screen is back in business. Um, so that's it, really. Uh, confirm with dive mode testing. Um, on those three pins and replaced U, I think it's 9010 on this one. It is U9010 and uh, this is some sort of V out, I don't know what the hell that is. It's some sort of output power line for the display. So, so that's how you fix it. Um, and that's it really. I mean this is, I don't know, pretty, as close to a touch IC repair. Maybe even easier. You don't have to run any jumpers or anything like that. So. Anyways, we're back in business here. Uh, easy pakeasy. Um, I th think, yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm going to start selling these chips on our website. So, if you want to fix this and you want to buy the chip, whatever, go to the website shortly. And if you don't see it on the website, email us, contact us, and uh, we'll have some available for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I just wanted to say thanks for watching our videos on YouTube.com. If you are interested in learning more about how to repair these things um, and all the tools you need to, to repair them, um, I would recommend going to microsoldering.com. That's our website. And clicking on store. And we have a course, online course out there. It's about three and a half hours long. And it, it, go, it starts from the basics all the way to data recovery. Um, I wanted to stress that this is really a basic course and it's not for people that have been doing this for a long time. Um, the course costs $99.99. Um, it's hosted at udemy.com and just go to the best thing to do is just go to our, go to our store and click on this link because you'll get 50 bucks off um, versus if you just do it through Google. The second thing I want to talk about is we do have an online forum now. It's free. Uh, just go there and post your questions. So if you have a question about this video, please go to this form and post here. I'm not going to be answering any more questions on YouTube. Um, because, yeah, because I think this is going to be centralized. So just go here, and then if you have any questions about tools and equipment, you can look look at all the different packages here, and, and uh, basically everything that I get asked all the time. Um, you, can, you can go here and find out what I use and where to get all the parts and supplies and stuff like that. And if you feel like you don't want to do it and you want to send us your phone for repair, then just click on request a quote and fill out the form at the bottom of the page. Thanks for watching and take care.